I wanted to do a job that helped people. We spend probably about 10% of our working time at incidents maximum. I have to say that we're never waiting for shouts because that would imply that we're sitting around doing nothing, waiting for something to do. Uh, the fact is that we're always very busy, contrary to uh, popular opinion and expectation of what the fire service actually does. Uh, if we're not training, on station, then we'll have maintenance to do, which can be quite mundane tasks, such as forming inventory checks to make sure all our kit's there, carrying out standard tests to make all our make sure all our kit works. Uh, we do a lot of community safety, so as I speak, the lads are out doing a home safety check, uh, fitting a smoke alarm for someone, giving them a half an hour talk on, on how to avoid accidental fires in the, in the home. In terms of the dangers that we face in our job, uh, from very from day one of, of training school, you're, you're taught to sort of do things called dynamic risk assessments and, and look for dangers, and, and, and it's just drummed into us all the time. All of our training is, is focused around um, minimising danger, uh, minimising the risk to, our, to ourselves. I mean, there's two stations, Trowbridge and Chippenham, have got yeah. the rope and the rope speciality. So, and then various other stations have got animal specialities and water specialities and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you just train as much as you can on your speciality.